What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video here today on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about is supply drops and more specifically the most recent way to acquire them by purchasing them. Is it something that is right? Is it something that is worth it? And is it something that the community will actually accept? Now before we divulge into my thoughts and feelings on this, we got to keep in mind that this is an opinionated piece. This is something that is from my standpoint and my point of view. So your thoughts may very well conflict with mine, but if if that's the case, I'm completely fine with that. I'm open-minded to the fact that you guys may have differences of opinions and have different tastes in what you guys want to see in the game and thoughts and ideas, all that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into my thoughts and what I feel with buying supply drops. So perhaps the biggest backlash in the community about this being able to purchase supply drops is that the game is going to lean towards a pay-to-win system in which the people that spend the most money have the best gear, the best weapons, and then ultimately have a better experience than those who don't necessarily have the money or aren't willing to spend it in the same capacity as those people who have spent a ton of money on the game. Well, here's the thing, unless you spend a huge amount of change, I'm talking like hundreds of dollars, I don't necessarily see it as something that would necessarily lean it that quickly to a pay to win. Now, I spent $20 on yesterday's supply drop opening video so that I could get you guys some footage of the brand new advanced supply drops, and in that, as you guys could see if you actually watched it, I only got one one or two things that is actually worthwhile in that out of the $20. So in my mind, I think it's a huge waste in terms of that where you'd have to spend a ton more money to get something actually useful, but about 95% of people won't spend that much money on supply drops. So necessarily, is this going to lean towards a pay to win system? I don't think it's going towards that at all. I think it's just a nice little option that people can buy them if they want to, but of course they're not forced to, so it all levels out. Now, I think that does in fact answer the is it right question, simply because so many people were concerned that it would turn into a pay to win game. Like I said though, I don't see it like that, but now is it really worth it? The $20 for 10 with an extra three and downwards in terms of going down in price and scale on the amount that you get, is it really worth it to get all of these? Well. As you guys know, supply drops require a ton of luck massive amounts, literally just like I can never have anything good. I finally got one decent drop, which I think you'll see on Sunday when I put up another drop video, but whenever we actually talk about supply drops, a ton of people get absolutely nothing good. So you're going to need a lot of luck to be getting anything out of these, and you're not guaranteed an incredible elite with all of this stuff. What you are guaranteed is three drops per drop opening, one weapon. It doesn't matter if it's enlisted, professional, or elite. You're just guaranteed one of them. It doesn't have a set of weapons, it just picks from all of them, as well as you're guaranteed some loot. So that's really the only thing you're guaranteed out of this. There's probably half a dozen weapons that are totally worth it, and the odds of getting them are so incredibly small. Now, unless you're a larger YouTuber or somebody that actually does drop openings for a lot of your content, I don't necessarily see this as worth it, simply because $20 in with absolutely no guarantee of anything out of it, I don't see it being worth it at all. Now, again, there are exceptions like the large YouTubers and the people that do base their content around supply drops and cool stuff like that because that is a giant market that is huge. Those can be really seen as investments into your content, in which case then I say if you've got the money, go for it. And our final topic to touch on today, will the community accept it? As always, the community is going to only always see the money signs over the eyes of Activision. I don't really necessarily think micro DLC will ever be fully accepted. It'll be there, but I don't think that it'll actually ever get the full approval of the community. So it's something that we're going to see ongoing for years and years and years to come. Though despite so many people being torn on this, loving it, hating it, I do think there are some things that can possibly make an intermediate reaction a little bit better. The biggest one that I can think of is a supply drop market for buying, selling, and trading of elite weapons that you purchase in game with all of this and supply drops in general, there's a bunch of different games like that in which you can do that. Counter-Strike, FIFA, those are just to name a few, and they do incredibly well with the community as well as how it's handled from the developers onward down to just the casual players. If you can add that kind of stuff in there, I can guarantee you that a ton of people will be satisfied and a lot happier with the situation, as well as if you can add in-game currency to buy these, similar to COD points, in which it doesn't cost you anything other than ranking up and playing the game, in which you can earn that to buy more advanced supply drops or even weapons 
weapons in general if there is a supply drop market coming. Now, again, this is quite late going into these ideas. Maybe it's something that we could have seen added a little bit earlier in the development, but even if we don't see them in Sledgehammer's game in Advanced Warfare this year, I do believe that we can see something like that coming next year in Call of Duty 2015. That is an entirely different subject, though I just will say I don't believe supply drops are going anywhere simply because of how incredibly they were received by the community. It is something well loved and definitely I think can be coming back to next year's title. Again, that's a story for a different day, but that's where we're going to end it today, ladies and gentlemen. I'd love to get your thoughts down in the comment section down below about your thoughts on buying supply drops, the new addition of this feature to Advanced Warfare. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Or do you not really care? But that's where we're going to end it. Like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Any shares of your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace. If you're already like that, I always greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any new news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Benicola Espresso. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, <laughs>